Seven tips to look amazing in a dress shirt. Gentlemen, in this video, I'm going to give you the information. I'm going to give you the tools so that you can go out there and make sure that every time you put on a dress shirt, that you feel amazing, that you feel confident because that's when the magic happens, gentlemen. So in each of these points, I'm going to go into a little bit of detail, but if you want more, go check out the support article. I'm going to link to it down in the description below. All right, gents, before I get too deep into this, I want to talk about the shirt that I am wearing in this video. I had it made over at Taylor store and they have got an awesome discount for you. So here's the shirt I had made. You notice that small dot pattern. It's hard to see in the video. And what I love about this is I was able to take my favorite shirt, replicate it for an amazing price. And guys, they have, a, I can't talk about the discount. I can just say this is one of the biggest discounts I've been able to bring you guys in a long time. Here are the three shirts I had made. They're going to, you're going to see them on the page I'm going to send you to. Uh, this one, the Theo Dark Blue. This one is in my wardrobe. You see me wearing it right now. The Edward, this one right here, funny enough, I hung out with my friend, Aaron Marino. He saw I was wearing this shirt and he's like, I got that shirt in my wardrobe. This other one, the Bart, classic. Look at that right here. Very classic fabric. And I can tell you the prices over on their website are great. Starting at $69. That doesn't include the discount that we're about to give. So definitely go check them out. You can build your own shirt. It's very easy. I'll talk about them in a later video, how to use basically this online builder to build the perfect shirt. But for now, guys, let's get into the seven tips. Tip number one, get the perfect fit. So this is key, gentlemen. First, you want to look at the shoulder points. Make sure that it, the shirt fits you. If you're buying off the rack, that it fits you in the shoulder points. This is very difficult to adjust. It's not even almost worth it. At that point, make sure that you've got, you know, look at the chest. You want to have probably about one and a half to two inches of room. If you're a bigger guy, you're going to want more. If you're a smaller man, you're going to want a little bit less. Then look in the torso. This is going to be the easiest place to adjust. They can often put darts in the backs or they can bring it in on the side. Here you want to have probably no more than two inches of room. If there's three or four, they can probably bring, bring it in. Understand though, that there are limitations to adjustments that Taylor can make. They can shorten sleeves but the cuffs, they really aren't going to change the size of the cuffs. So if you buy a shirt that's way too big and those cuffs are gigantic or misproportioned, then the shirt is never going to look right. So these are the things that you're looking for on a great fit. When you buy off the rack, make sure that you try it on and that it's as close to a good fit or a perfect fit as possible. Although pretty much anything bought off the rack will have to get adjusted. Now that's going to cost you, you know, some cases quite a bit of money. So you may want to look custom. There are many options out there. And in this video, guys, I tested Taylor Store. And uh, one thing I loved about Taylor Store, besides their amazing interface, is that they actually had a perfect fit, pretty much guarantee. So this is the second shirt they made for me. I loved this fabric. I loved the design. The first shirt they made for me and they sent my way, because of my mistake, I actually made the shirt a little bit too short. I They told me actually what I should go with. I changed it a bit and I ended up getting what I exactly asked for and it was a little bit too tight in the chest area and it wasn't long enough. They remade me the shirt at no cost. Guys, I tested their customer service. They didn't know who I was and sure enough, they were actually, they did really good. One of the things they asked me, they said, hey, you, you got three more shirts coming your way. This one we noticed is a slim fit. Is that exactly what you want? I was like, yeah. Pretty good customer service. But the thing is when you go custom, make sure you get exactly what you want. Only have them make one item. That way if they do make a mistake and this applies to jackets, trousers, anything you have made custom, have them start with one. Tip number two to look amazing in a dress shirt is to focus in on the fabric. Now, if you're buying off the rack, you want to look for a fabric that is going to fill your core wardrobe. We're talking whites, we're talking blues, we're talking variations, mixtures of the two. I know for me, I love a dark navy dress shirt. Simply, it's not super dressy, but in my area, I can dress it down. It works with a lot of items in my wardrobe. It is a core item. And once you build up those core items for you, white dress shirts, light blue dress shirts, but you want to go for a pretty conservative wardrobe, build up that base. And then from there, look, and this is really key guys, 
Look at what you wear. Look at what you are, you know, is on your back most of the time that you take with you when you travel and then start to replicate that making small changes in the fabric. Go for variations. So, if you find you love your light blues, well, maybe go for something with a herringbone uh, pattern in it or maybe with a twill weave, maybe something with a small, uh, it looks like light blue from a distance but it's actually white with very small blue dots on it. But you're going into variations of the fabric here and this is where your wardrobe, you've gone from the base and you're starting to really bring in just some amazing uh, patterns and colors. It's going to be a little bit harder if you buy off the rack because oftentimes they're just trying to sell as much as they can so they don't really experiment too much with fabrics and then when you find a fabric you like, you got to make sure that you can get the fit. Custom, this is where custom really sets itself apart. Tip number three to look amazing in a dress shirt is focus in on the collar, gentlemen. You want to make sure that it is a great looking collar, that it's not one that's going to fall apart. Instantly when I'm looking at a collar, I'm going to look underneath and I'm going to see are there removable shirt stays. Right there, that will tell me the quality of the shirt. Now, there are some decent quality shirts that do not have removable shirt stays but I like to see that because what it allows me to do is to stiffen up the collar and just to give it, I think, a much nicer look. Now, you're also going to want to look at the style of the collar. If it's a classical point collar, that's made to be worn with a necktie. So, if you don't like to wear neckties, don't go for classic point collars. Instead, start looking at spreads. Spreads still work with a necktie but what I like about a spread is it keeps the collar points out of the way when you're wearing it without a necktie. Again, it's going to be a much nicer look and actually spreads are going to be less common. You don't see them on a lot of big manufacturers whenever they're doing the big runs. They just know that for a lot of guys they're going to stay away from this. It doesn't work as well if you've got a really round face uh, but if you've got a normal shaped face, if you've got a thin face, a spread collar looks great. Another thing you're going to want to pay attention to when it comes to a collar are the proportions, especially if you are a smaller man or you're a really big man. You want to just simply look at yourself in the mirror and look at the size of the collar. If you are like five foot two, five foot three, you maybe want to have something custom made, something that has a smaller proportioned collar. Tip number four to looking great in a dress shirt, focus in on the cuff. Now, the cuff is not, in my opinion, as important as the collar. It's farther away from the face but whenever you wear a jacket, guess what they see? They see this part and they see the edge of your cuff. Cuffs also you can have a lot of fun with on the style. If you buy off the rack, not as many options although you can find some such as French cuffs and maybe a few different types of barrel cuffs but I really like custom because all of a sudden you can start going with two button cuffs. You can start going with variations of French cuffs and yes, you can wear French cuffs without a jacket. The point is, is you can have fun with the cuffs and they can become an integral part of the shirt style. The fifth tip, pay attention to the buttons. So, look at the buttons on this shirt. Notice how they're dark and they actually work with the shirt they don't really stand out. Imagine if these were white. Imagine if they were mother of pearl but I could simply change out the buttons on this shirt with a white mother of pearl and it would have a totally different look. Tip number six, focus in on the quality build of the shirt itself. So, these are a few things that you can look for. I already talked about in the shirt collar, looking for the removable stays. That there, right there is a great indicator of quality but I can look on the inside of the shirt. I'm going to look at the stitching. I want to be looking for at least 14 stitches per inch. I want to be looking, making sure there's no loose threads. Things like that to me are a sign of poor quality when I just see that they didn't pay attention to the inside. You want to look at the buttons. Make sure that none of them are coming frayed. You want to look at the, you know, how tight they are. Make sure that they've actually got extra buttons on the shirt so in case you pop or you lose a couple buttons. I look for areas where it could tear or where it could break. Make sure there's reinforced stitching. Go down to the bottom of the shirt and you want to look at the gusset. Small things like that. Pay attention to those details because if they paid attention to those small things, then they also pay attention to the big things like the mills that they get the fabric from or at, you know, the customer service. To me, it is all tied together. Finally, tip number seven to look amazing in a dress shirt, gentlemen, is to build an outfit around and with that dress shirt. You want to practice wearing it. You want to wear it with other pieces of clothing that just make you feel great, that give you confidence. I'll give you an example. What I'm wearing right here, like I said, I know that I love a dark navy shirt. I have this shirt right here, small dots on it, dots on it, so a little bit different than what I'm normally wearing. Uh, I have a dark pair of denim that I'm wearing with it, a nice dark colored brown belt, pair of brown boots that I love and I can all of a sudden pair it with this jacket. This jacket, a little bit more flamboyant, definitely grabs attention. The point being, Joan, practice wearing that shirt. Wear it into the ground. Get used to it. Feel good in it and I always advise 
own less and wear it more and just feel great every time you put it together. All right, gentlemen, that's it. So hopefully you learned quite a bit in this video and go take advantage of the great discount I've got you at Taylor Store. Like I said, I'm always, I'm really proud to be able to work with businesses because I used to own a clothier. I used to make shirts. I understand how hard of a business it is. And for them to be able to give you that type of a discount, for them to give you that type of service, which I tested, I'm really excited because it's going to make it easier for you to dress better, to become the man you know yourself to be. Guys, that's it. I'll see you in the next video.